Hello and welcome to the pedal demo by yours truly. This time I'm looking at the Saldano Super Lead Overdrive pedal. Um, a pedal that tries to squeeze in all the high gain goodness and greatness of uh, the Saldano SLO 100 amp. A legendary high gain amp that was popularised towards the late 80s. Um, so Mike Saldano, he made his name modding Marshall amps for the likes of uh, Mick Mars and uh, Warren Dumatini, people like that. Um, and then of course towards the end of that decade he, he decided to go out on his own and create the Saldano SLO 100 amp which was very popular. Um, eventually though he ceased making them, um, I suppose times changed but a, a few years back he, he decided to, uh, to, to, to reboot the whole thing, um, slightly tweaking it, the SLO 100 and uh, and it, it came back to a big fanfare and, and people of course still love that amp it is an amazing amp but it's not cheap but he also makes the SLO 30 and I think the Astro 20 now as well as his pedal so there is choice there you don't have to go for the really big brother one and of course you can just try get a Saldana flavour with this pedal so I'm playing a Sir Mon into a Victory DP40 amp and the clean sound is thus <laughs> So let's switch her on. I've got everything set at midnight as per tradition. And that sounds kind of muddy to me and it doesn't sound even like it were at Unity game. But let's go slash painted everything at seven. See where we end up. sound absolutely amazing context this is what we started with massive amounts of high gain there does it clean up a little bit that bridge pickup was quite quite a gainy bridge pickup is that we'll coil tap and see where we go <laughs> doesn't really clean up that much to be honest with you. But let's not read what this pedal's for. I think if you're getting this pedal you're really getting it for its high gain qualities. Um, and of course the note separation which sounds great on the amp and it, I kind of feel Mike Sardolo's got that right on this pedal as well. So we're going to goose the volume of the gain now. I'll well, we'll test that out. <laughs> soaring lead sound to this pedal um, I think if you've got a relatively clean pedal platform style amp um, but you need some high gain a high gain heavy overdrive sound for some songs here and there 
Um, you just need the, the full beans. Uh, and you just need it for a few songs here and there. This pedal, absolutely outstanding for that, I think. Um, it really delivers some really massive uh, lead sounds and uh, rhythm riffing sounds. So let's just explore this presence a bit. <laughs> That brings in a lot of high end and a lot of just low overtones. Bass. Let's go more with that bass, see what we've got. Fantastic. See what the middle does. Absolutely massive sounding, absolutely massive. So I'm going to dial back the bass now, um, and I'll try this deep switch, which is on this side here. And it's just a press, and it holds itself in. <laughs> Wowza, that is huge. Now a bit more treble into that. <laughs> Tight percussive thing with the depth depth switch, deep switching. Tight and percussive and low end. Fantastic. I don't really have the treble up high on this pe pedal. It does. If you want more, you know, you want to be more present in the mix, that treble will get you there. I kind of like to back it off a bit, personally. <laughs> That's a magnificent sound. Fantastic. Yeah, it just brings me on to one curious fact. When this pedal first came out, I'll just switch it off now. When this pedal first came out, people seem to be confused by it. Um, people saying, oh, you've got to stick it in your effects loop and all this. And I think Anderton's did a video, and a lot of people complain because the, the, this, you're not showing the pedal off properly. But I'm just going straight into the, the front end of the Victory DP40 here. And straight in with this guitar, I've been using my, the, the bridge pickup because that's really where this pedal shines. And there's no problems at all. You want to use this straight in front of an amp, it, it, it will do that. It's just no problems at all. Um, it sounds great if, you, if you're if you sort of sat, you know, in your bedroom or at home or wherever, having a bit of a noodle um, and you just want it, some high gainness 
and it works just as well at really low volumes as well this pedal uh, it's just great fun to stick this on and you can just noodle around to your heart's content or play along to something and it sounds great you can you know if it's really hard rock metal or anything like that it's just straight in there brilliant I can't recommend it highly enough really um, my, my only my only thing is to question about myself is why I've had sort of a bit of a sporadic kind of feeling about this pedal um, there's o the only one thing I've noticed about it that's kind of put me off is in in it it's, it will it if you this is if you're in like a really heavy two guitar band and there's you're playing gain all the time um, this it, it, I'm not sure this pedal quite cuts through the mix like some others um, but if if you're a kind of one guitar band one guitar person um, and you're looking you know you're not competing with another guitar and that I can't recommend it highly enough it, it's superb and I'm, I think I'm going to put it on my pedal board and give it an extended run because I love it so much so it just remains for me to say thanks for watching stay safe keep well and I'll see you all later guys bye